Hello everyone. So today uh, I'm going to extend the PCG system that we were working on for the lattice structure. So here now what I'm, I have done is uh, I have improved the PCG graph to sample volumes in the level and place lattice structure uh, within those volumes. So here you can see I have two volumes and I have marked them, marked those two volumes as lattice fill volumes. So that's why you see the lattice is filled inside those volumes. And also I have another volume here. It's just this cube and I have marked it as a lattice remove volume. So in this area, you can see all the, uh, none of the lattice uh, elements are not spawned so yeah so this system can be used with any shape of a volume and you can spawn this lattice structure around it so yeah this is what we are going to work on today so basically you will learn how to sample volumes from the world and use that inside ECG graph to generate points and spawn various things in this tutorial okay so this is what we implemented yesterday so here you can see uh, this uh, PCG lattice structure uh, it's created using well let me just open like this it's just created using a point grid and then transform points and use simple static mesh spawners so now i can adjust this point grid size and do modifications but instead of doing that i want to have a more procedural approach that means i want to create a volume and then based on that volume this lattice structure should change that's the next step of this uh, project that i want to implement okay so to do that first let me create some volume here so maybe you actually you can do any kind of a volume so let me just up here we have volume and maybe i'll just use a blocking volume and I'll place it in the middle. No need to be in the middle exactly. Just move it over here. And here you can see the volume now. If I make it a bit bigger, well, I can go into brush editing mode and uh, can do something like this. Okay, extrude. Okay, right, this. So I created this volume, a bit complicated volume. So actually i want to do something like a dog but that's gonna take a long time so yeah now i want to spawn uh, the lattice structure within this volume so for that here now i need a reference well not this uh, let me create a duplicate let me delete this from here and create a duplicate PCG volume lattice and open it now it has the same things but let me delete that and if I drag and drop you see nothing is there now I'll create get that I'll use this uh, get actor data node and then here actor filter I'll use all world actors and then as the selection tag 
I'll use lattice fair. The reason that I use fair is because later on I'm planning to have some remove volume as well. Okay, I'll use lattice fail and uh wait a second. I need to have oh no no we don't really need okay that is fair and then from this i'll create uh not create i'll uh, do a sample using volume sampler and then use it here so right now my thing appears that's because i haven't added this tag so there is no way to identify this volume within this uh, pcg graph so but here i am using this lattice fill tag i'll copy that and select the blocking volume in the level and search tag under actor advanced tags i'll add lattice fail and still nothing appears no uh oh, here oh, i need to enable this still no um no let's enable this select multiple all right now we have something okay so now we got the points so what if i use the same thing let me enter reroute node i guess i need to do any modifications yeah see now we got the lattice around this shape that we defined so now if i select this and make it larger oh not that one this object Oh, it's here. Why is that? Okay, I just undid the changes. So actually, it should not be necessary for me to this uh, for me to be inside this volume. So I should be yeah. I can move it outside as well and still it works and here if I make it bigger it's not updating right away see what if I move it no what if I regenerate no what if I restart no okay it took some time to load this but it worked see this is let me check uh, face uh, it's not that bad after generating but this is definitely too big to deal with mm, maybe actually not it seems fine after generating but that's a lot of meshes as you see okay now let me again make it smaller because i don't want to deal with too long regeneration times oh. okay so here is the smaller scale version of it now let's say i if i want to have another volume now let me simply duplicate this block in volume press alt and drag 
Okay. No. Post regeneration. Yeah. Now we got the same structure in both places because I'm using the same tag for both uh, volumes. Now let's say I want to have a hole here. So let me add another volume. Place it. Okay. Yeah. Let me move it over there. Okay. And maybe it needs to be a bit bigger. So something like this. Yeah. Yeah, and okay, something like this. Now, here you see, I want to remove all the lattice I elements within here. So for this tag, uh, this item, I'll add a tag. Let's call it lattice remove. I'll copy that and then go here. Just like this, I'll add another get actor data. I'll pause regeneration until I'm done with the code and then similar i'll do a similar volume sampler as well and here instead of lattice fill oh, i'll use lattice remove and then i'll use a difference node here and density function binary let me break link to reroute mode and use this okay now now here you see now we have a hole so that means we have removed all the things within that uh, lattice remove volume so yeah mm, and i'm gonna stop this episode right here so hope you learned something and thanks for watching as always updated project files will be available here for download in the patron page link would be in the description below and let me know if you have any questions in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe see you in some other tutorial goodbye